electro stream drilling learning objectives at the end of this topic you will be able to describe about electro stream drilling esd describe the working of electro stream drilling esd describe various performance of electro stream drilling esd discuss the process performance of esd describe about shaped tube electrolytic machining stem explain the basic working principle of stem outcomes by the end of this topic you will be able to explain the working of electro stream drilling est understand the various performance of electro stream drilling est describe the process performance of est explain the working of shaped tube electrolytic machining stem electro stream drilling electrochemical drilling ecd process uses a hollow metal tube as cathode through which electrolyte flows at high velocity this tube moves in the hole as it is drilled hence the hole diameter is always bigger than the outside diameter of the cathode tube there is certain practical limitations because of which the cathode tube diameter cannot be reduced below a certain value to drill a hole of diameter smaller than this value a process named electro stream drilling was invented by annan in 1976 this process was employed for drilling of thousands of small cooling holes in nickel and cobalt superalloys in electro stream drilling esd electrically negatively charged high velocity acid electrolyte stream is passed through electrically non conducting nozzle this stream strikes positively charged workpiece and removes material in the same way as in conventional ecm this dissolved material the sludge dissolved in the acid electrolyte is flushed out from the machining zone in the form of metal ions in the solution since there is no sludge to restrict the flow of electrolyte the limit on the minimum diameter of the hole that can be drilled is relaxed this process can be used to drill very small holes at steep angles or curved holes by this method it has been possible to drill holes of diameter as small as 0.127 mm to as large as 0.89 mm but the voltage used during est is very high say 150 to 850 volts In ESD, dilute solution of sulfuric acid or hydrochloride is used as an electrolyte. Hydrochloric acid has proved to be a better electrolyte for drilling materials like aluminum, titanium, etc. Sulfuric acid is the electrolyte preferred for drilling in carbon steel, cobalt alloys and stainless steel. ESD can be performed in two ways. Dwell drilling by giving no feed or zero feed rate penetration drilling by providing finite feed to the nozzle dwell drilling this method is used when shallow and less accurate holes are required this technique is also employed under the circumstances when workpiece configuration or machine capabilities do not permit movement of the nozzle nozzle tip is fixed at a predetermined distance from the work surface and drilling is done by the electrolyte stream but it limits the depth of the drilled hole and obtainable accuracy dwell drilling this method is used when shallow and less accurate holes are required this technique is also employed under the circumstances when workpiece configuration or machine capabilities do not permit movement of the nozzle nozzle tip is fixed at a predetermined distance from the work surface and drilling is done by the electrolyte stream but it limits the depth of the drilled hole and obtainable accuracy dwell drilling this method is used when shallow and drain drilling it is used for deep and accurate hole drilling during est the nozzle is fed towards the workpiece with a finite feed rate to maintain a constant interelectrode gap 
EEG. A gap sensing device is used to monitor the current being drawn to slow down the feed and trigger full power when the proper nozzle workpiece gap is detected. Components of machine and fixtures must be made of acid resistant materials. Nozzle designed for drilling round holes are made of glass tubing that is drawn to a small diameter, thus forming a capillary at one end. If a hole in the cavity is to be drilled at such an angle that the line of sight axis is not available, a tool with a right angle bend at the tip is used. The outside diameter of the nozzle tip should be such that it fits within the hole being drilled as well as allows room for the repeatable escape of the used electrolyte. The length of the small diameter part of the tube should always be slightly greater than the depth of the hole to be drilled. Charging of electrolyte Charging of electrolyte can be done in two ways, either by the use of a metallic sleeve or by a small titanium wire which is placed inside the large diameter section of the ES nozzle. Metallic sleeve or titanium wire is kept as close to the throat as possible. Multiple nozzle applications require the use of a junction manifold with individual wires running from the electrolyte manifold to each nozzle. Process Performance of ESD The ESD process is being used for drilling holes having large depth and small diameter, that is, high aspect ratio. In penetration drilling, 40 is to 1 and in dwell drilling, 10 is to 1 in any electrically conductive material without affecting its properties. The maximum depth to which holes can be drilled in dwell drilling and penetration drilling are 5 mm and 19 mm respectively. Machining rate that has been achieved in single nozzle or multiple nozzles as many as 100 holes is 1.5 mm minutes in Versa 1. In a specific case, as many as 96 holes have been simultaneously drilled in a turbine blade in a period of just 1.5 minutes. By penetration drilling, shallow holes up to an angle of 75 degree from the normal to the work surface, tolerance up to plus or minus 5% of the diameter of the hole, but no less than 0.025 mm, and surface finish in the range of 0.25 μm to 1.67 μm have been achieved. Taper can be controlled to a value of 0.03 mm by centimeter. Machined component has burr-free surfaces with no induced residual stresses. There is insignificant HAZ, heat-affected zone and no tool wear. Electrostream drilling has bell mouth hole entrance. To increase the production rate, simultaneous drilling of small holes is done. Shaped Tube Electrolytic Machining STEM For drilling smaller diameter but deep holes in electrically conductive materials, shaped tube electrolytic machining STEM process is used. Shaped tube electro drilling is quite commonly done in aerospace industries and difficult to machine super alloys. It was developed primarily for drilling high aspect ratio up to 300 is to 1 round and shaped holes in turbine engine airfoils. It uses acid-based electrolyte which ensures that the reaction products formed during electrolytic deplating are dissolved and carried away as metal ions. It eliminates clogging of the electrolyte flow path around the electrode. STEM uses an electrode as a hollow, shaped tube covered with insulating coating on all exterior surfaces except at the tip. Working of STEM STEM is a low voltage process, 5 to 15 direct current voltage. At higher voltages, drilling rates can be increased, but boiling of electrolyte plating of electrodes and damage to the electrode coating may lead to serious problems.
feed rate depends on the machining parameters. However, it can be as high as 5 mm per minute against a normal feed rate of 1.5 mm per minute. Value of the overcut can be changed by varying the applied voltage and electrolyte flow velocity with the help of computer control. During stem, taper obtained is 0.015 mm per centimeter and surface finish achieved is 0.8 to 3.1 μm. Surface finish depends upon work material and machining parameters. Electrolyte normally used is 10% concentration of sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid in water. Temperature of electrolyte is maintained between 37 and 40 degrees Celsius. To maintain a constant gap between tool and workpiece, a servo system is used. After drilling is over, the workpiece should be thoroughly washed by water to neutralize and remove residual acid. Multiple electrodes, even with varying shapes and sizes, would be able to produce as many as 100 holes simultaneously. The components of the machine, which are likely to come in contact with the electrolyte, should be made of corrosion-resistant materials like titanium, stainless steel, plastics and ceramics. Proper ventilation of machining chamber must be provided to extract corrosive electrolyte mist and hydrogen gas byproducts of the process. Tube material is pure titanium to resist acidic action of the electrolyte. Coating on the tube serves dual purpose. Example, it saves from the attack of the electrolyte as well as eliminates stray cutting at the walls of the hole. Best results are obtained if the tip is dressed at an angle of 10 degrees. Pinhole scratches and delimitations in the coating would result in stray cutting, that is, non-uniform cutting. Material removal is performed basically by the foot or tip of the tube. Hence, by changing its shape, the holes of different shapes can be obtained without changing the shape of the full tube. To increase productivity and to make the process more versatile, these tips may be made of different shapes and sizes even in multiple hole machining. An alternative method is to make these tips as independent, separate, bit type of tube of the desired shape and size and then fasten by threading or otherwise them to the bit holder or electrode. Electrolyte mist and hydrogen gas byproducts of the process should be properly removed from the machining chamber. Summary Let's summarize the topic. In electro stream drilling EST, electrically negatively charged, high velocity acid electrolyte stream is passed through electrically non conducting nozzle. By EST method, it has been possible to drill holes of diameter as small as 0.127 mm to as large as 0.89 mm. In EST, the maximum depth to which holes can be drilled in dwell drilling and penetration drilling are 5 mm and 19 mm respectively. In STEM, feed rate depends on the machining parameters. However, it can be as high as 5 mm per minute against a normal feed rate of 1.5 mm per minute. In STEM, material removal is performed basically by the foot or tip of the tube. Hence, by changing its shape, the holes of different shapes can be obtained without changing the shape of the full tube.